Buongiorno, this is Sara Lai. Ciao. This is Filippo Bartolotta. <laughs> Welcome in Dinner in 15, the, your food and wine series where you learn how to prepare a dinner in 15 minutes, no matter how many people you've got there. And not only that, we'll tell you stories about food, ingredients. Today we have the Piave cheese, we have the Garda, DOC sparkling, we have the Valtenesi Rosé. So stay with us. This is uh, our waiting room. We're about to start in a few minutes' time. Ciao a tutti! Welcome in our dinner in 15! <laughs> this is Sarah Lai. This is Filippo Bartolotta. And I'm about to sneeze. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to show you how to prepare zucchini flour filled with ricotta cheese, piave cheese, but this zu uh, zucchini flour and love ah, and love of, of course. course of course but go ahead sorry i'm gonna stop <laughs> but the zucchini flour will be deep fried so it's very quick and it's very tasty we start to prepare our pastella our dough to fry it with the old purpose flour soda aqua gassata mm -hmm. salt we have to mix all together and let it rest for a few minutes in the fridge. It has to be very, very cold. In the meanwhile, we prepare the filling for the zucchini flour. Uh -huh. So, Ooh la la. This, this, thing, this thing about the cold water, a little bit of sparkling actually water. Yes. Okay. From the fridge. From the fridge and then it goes back to the fridge because it has to be very, very cold. In the, the, shock, yeah. the, temp, the shock of the temperature, it will make your flour very, very crunchy and very, very light. Okay, so once again, uh, uh, this is dinner in 15, so everything is gonna happen real time. One sequence, 15 minutes, the oil is already about to boil. See, it's okay. warm. I, Whisk, I have to whisk all together. Okay. And then now it goes back in the fridge. Right. I am preparing the filling with ricotta cheese or from the cow milk or from the sheep milk. I prepare, I pre prefer, sorry, sheep milk. It's more tasty and savory. All right, go for it. So, ricotta, salt, black pepper, Fresh grounded. Lemon. Lemon zest. Now, I love lemon zest because it brings the oil, but sometimes uh, when I think uh, cheese and lemon, it's, it's not necessarily like goes in a direct way, but actually works amazing. See, it's true. One egg, we, we will use only the yolk because otherwise your filling, it will be too liquid. All right, so one egg yolk, there you go. Look at that, that Beautiful. looks like a dish already. Like a tartare. Like a, <laughs> a ricotta tartare. Ricotta tartare. And then we will go for our piave cheese. I was gonna take a picture, but I'm Fresh saying, I'm Fresh grounded <laughs> piave cheese. Okay, piave cheese. We love piave cheese. I, I okay. love piave cheese, actually. And, and um, yeah, because it's like very light, it's, very very milky, yeah, not too it's, spicy. It's very creamy, very fat, and is lactose free, so, actually. Is it right, like very, very fat, like very buttery, but si. it, it's only, uh, it's a skimmed milk cheese, yes, right? Yes, yes, indeed. No, it's fat like on on your the mouth. Texture. Is yes, sorry, fat it's texture. very creamy and fatty. All right, but mm. it's not fat at all. 
You know, these, you always say no, but I can try this, no? Oh, Please. That's your raw egg, that's not gonna kill me. No, no, no. And I've prepared some mm. fresh savory. Mm, the lemon zest. If you have oregano, it's fine as well. All right. Can I start opening some wine? Please. Do I have some uh, room to talk about wine? Do you want to finish there? No, no, please. All right, allora. While she, Sarah, is chopping some savory or oregano, whatever you've got, we're cracking open a bottle of Garda Diossi. Now, where are we? We are in Lake Garda, of course. The largest lake in Italy uh, that creates a true uh, micro terroir, like an environment that makes uh, uh, olive trees, lemon trees possible to grow, although we are quite up north. As a matter of fact, there is snow every year in that part of Italy, like on the, on the mountains, the Alps are just right there. And yet you have the lemons, the olives, and what else? The grape. So the vine trees. Romans used to make wine here for genera generation, 2,000 years ago. When you open a sparkling, you, funny enough, you tilt the bottle, you don't tilt the cork, right? And then you want to keep it here so that you do not let all the pressure go out. And then when you pour it, you just go like that. Where are we? We are, there's so many beautiful cities in the Lake Garda. Today, I want to take you to Desinsano del Garda. A city that looks one of those cartoon medieval towns with the beautiful city walls, the super gates, and then you enter into a sort of an island, okay? It's like a finger that goes all the way in the lake. There is beautiful uh, places where you can just chill out and enjoy a nice glass of this Garda di Ossi, which is a sparkling wine with some uh, quite generous mousse, you can tell. On the nose, uh, there is a lot of uh, ripe peach, um, some white pears, a little bit of citrus, and a very, very generous, uh, bubbly mousse, creaminess on the finish. I think this is going to be smashing actually with our zucchini because zucchini are fried and there is uh, ricotta, so you need some uh, cinetic action of the bubbles to clean your palate on this dish. I'm cleaning the zucchini flour and I'm keeping mm -hmm. the stem the stem inside because okay. I, actually I love it. It's a little bit bitter. I like it too. I like the stem. In the past when I was younger, mm -hmm. I was cleaning everything. It was like, oh my God, instead now I eat everything. Exactly. But we can eat everything of the zucchini. A lot of people Every, chop even uh, the bottom end here, but it's actually really good, right? See, like see, the other part. It is, it is. If you have a sucker posh, you can use it, but if you don't, like in most of the houses, there don't. Is not, and so. we are halfway through our 15 minutes, Sara. Yes, so we start to fill our zucchini. They're you very delicate. Help, yes, they're See, very delicate. What can you, do? Uh, you can taste a little bit of ricotta. Again. And tell <laughs> me. No, I add some salt. Mm. Yes. And some salt is needed. Mm. Mm. Okay. This is really good. Like I need, you know, right now what's happening? Your palate is like filled with this super creamy ricotta and piave. You need something to clean your palate. And then you close it and turn, turn and push in the. What a bellino! Chima. It looks like a little, little croquette, uh, like in, in the head of a, si. of a young lady or a, a young whatever. As my, as me. Yeah, exactly. It looks like you. You look <laughs> like a... <laughs> a zucchini flower. You like thank a zucchini you. Flower, thank darling. you very much. <laughs> that didn't come out that well, but I, I, you know, I mean good. <laughs> I like you. Um, no, I wanted to point out how uh, this Garda DLC sparkling is actually working really well already with ricotta. Now, ricotta, as you most of you know, is maybe one of the lightest uh, cheese there is out there. But in this case, it was blended together with the piave, uh, so see. it adds up some extra butteriness. I was about to say it, to tell creaminess, you. Creaminess, but exactly. the, the, the combination is perfect with the sparkling. See. 
I like that. You know, I have never done this. <laughs> also with the whistle in the end. Yes. Done. Well, you see, you, it looks like you've got another two to go. Six minutes. Yeah, Sarah. yeah, yeah. So we are while on you're, time. you're there, I need my corkscrew. Of course, I have my corkscrew. There you go. In our beautiful kitchen here in uh, Mama Florence, uh, I'm about to open uh, Valtenesi. Now, uh, those of you that have been uh, uh, following us uh, on our social media, uh, that subscribed in our channel, you've seen a lot of uh, Valtenesi. Why? Because I believe that Valtenesi is Italy's uh, most serious rosé district. It's a terroir, it's an area where all the winemakers, all family run vineyards, uh, there's a hundred of them, they're all uh, playing the same game. What is it? No, I mean, they make white wines, they make red wines, they also make sparkling, but they want to make mainly rosé. We are on the eastern, uh, actually on the western slopes of the Lake Garda, um, which means that the grapes are like this, and so they get the morning sunshine, right? just shining on these beautiful, beautiful vineyards. The main variety here is Groppello. Groppello is the great variety of this side of the Lake Garda. And it's uh, a little bit like a Pinot Noir style variety, so very delicate, very gentle. And uh, what I love about it is that there is always a little bit of spiciness in this wine. Look at the color, look at the label. This is a label about Senatore Molmenti. Molmenti is the senator, uh, the Venetian senator that moved to Lake Garda because he wanted to make this rosé wine and he invented the Chiaretto in this area, which is this light rosé. I think Sarah uh, needs to talk, so I'm here you are, let's go. the flower before to put them in our pastella, in our dough. So they will take more pastella. They will take more. So dough. say it again. I've closed them okay. and I've floured them. Before get, getting into Before the dough. Before they're getting into the dough, yes. Perfecto. And then into the dough and then straight away into the hot boiling water. Uh, there hot you go. boiling oil. Oil. And it's three minutes to go. We don't three fry into, into the water. In the meanwhile, while the zucchini go in the oil, we've got, look at this color, Luigi, guardate qua che colore bellissimo. This is a pearl oyster kind of rosé. Um, they worked a lot in terms of reaching exactly this kind of color. These people are not, are not uh, like they're very dedicated in uh, all the aspects of winemaking. On the nose is like uh, mountain strawberries, pomegranate, and some vanilla. There is some lovely sweetness. Oh, one thing is acidity. This wine, there is no malolactic fermentation, so the second fermentation carried out by bacteria, not by yeast, that adds up creaminess to white and red and rosé, but most whites don't go through malolactic, and some rosé do, these rosés do not go. So, retention of acidity, freshness, and crunchy, zesty character. Would you like a piece of piave? Would I like a piece of piave? Who's gonna say no? Thank you. Mm. Mm? If you have piave, you have to go with this. Thank you very much. Garda, to clean your palate. Mm. Man, Sarah, if we carry on doing this every day, <laughs> we're going to become like double the size. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> allora. Our, our zucchini flour are almost fried. Mm -hmm. They will remain a little bit clear because our pastella, it has no egg okay. and no beer inside. So no egg, water, no beer, only water. Only water. Um, it's like a tempura. If you like to do gluten-free, you can use the rice flour as well. Okay. It That's always good. nice to know for our friends that have got gluten intolerance. Uh, uh, that's uh, that's an option. Actually, I like the rice flour because it See, gets things a little crispier, si, it's right? True. Crunchier. I was gonna say crunchier. Or with the chickpea uh, 
of chickpea flour. Flour. But that's more gourmet. Indian. Oh. No, it I, is, ah, I did it. Uh, it's samosa. It's the pakora. Oh, sì. pakora and samosa. We're we sì. going to start like an international cooking class. Exacto. Oh, oh. Oh. We are near. Oh my God. You know, I already had lunch today. Because like this, uh, but right now looking at this, I feel like I can have a bite, you know? Of not just Not because I have to, but because it looks good. Sarah, look at the clock. No, we, we are on time. Oh, she's always relaxed. As I'm always. On, I should be the relaxed one drinking wine. Instead, I'm like always all over the chart. Can someone just touch my screen? Because otherwise, uh, we don't know exactly the end of it. There you go. Okay, almost there. Oh my God, can I take this out? Because okay, I'm scared. Thank you. Uh, in fact, Aiuto. All right. A little bit of salt. And we are ready to rock and roll. So, zucchini flour filled with ricotta. And of course, piave cheese to add the creaminess to the dish. A little bit of herbs, tarragon, rosemary. It doesn't matter. Whatever you got there, just stick it in to add up some salty bites into you the... you want to walk with? No, Bellina, that's so cute. Il cartoccio. Check it out, guys. So now I have a double job here because I have to give it a bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Where did you get the flowers? It's true, from my dad's Ooh. garden. This morning at 7 o'clock, I was in my dad's garden. Don't, <laughs> ah, don't clean your hands in my <laughs> grembiule. Okay, so first zucchini bite. First of all, Sarah, amazing. Let's try it with Thank the... Thank you. Got a DOC. And we already knew that this was gonna work because it was working already with the ricotta. Now there is the fried stuff, which is fat. And of course the bubbles help just making your mouth super clean. Now it will be a round of um, the Valtenesi. Mm. Sara, go to the Valtenesi. Grazie. Yes, I was gonna say, there's some salt missing. You uh, always tend to be with less salt, which is good. Yeah, yes, because you are hyperactive, so I'm keeping you <laughs> low. <laughs> hyperactive? Oh, wow. Actually, I was a little afraid with the rosé, but you see what's happening? You know what it's doing? It's just adding the lemon Mm. juiciness to the dish. Mm. It, it, it feels like almost there is some lemon juice squeezed on the fried zucchini. Mm. Ecco, this is a perfect it's match. Perfect. I mean, I like this idea. I love the garda with more with the ricotta, si. but now with the finished dish like this. Ooh. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, Filippo is gone. Thank you for being with us. <laughs> you can find this recipe and much more recipe on our website. Follow us on our social media. And please send us a contact of a good doctor and because I just... Flour. <laughs> my tasting buds uh, are all burnt right now. <laughs> no. But no, but because you eat too fast. Well, I didn't know. Like uh, the inside is like 150 but I, oh, degrees. But I'm fried now. <laughs> Anyhow, for more tips, tricks, and I need some love, send me some love for my no, tasting don't, buds, don't which send. are like, these are like my, the most important part of my everything. Va bene, salute, grazie. Ciao. Thank you for following. I will see you next on our live. You eat and drink. Uh, you know, like a chef, I never see chefs eating and drinking. It's not true, <laughs> because it, they are hiding in the kitchen. Oh, you always hide in the kitchen. <laughs>